Hello, guys. I'm Coach Renato. Uh, can you tell me your name, please? I'm Lydia. Lydia. Clara. Clara. Okay, nice to meet you guys. And today we're going to be working on a few things on the tennis court. So first and foremost, let's do some warm-up. All right, so I'd like for you guys to put your racket on the sideline. You know, I want you to go to the singles, uh, singles line right here. There we go. And all right, so I need a, a slow jog, a nice and easy jog to the other side of the court and back. All right, so I want you guys to do it two times. Go and come back twice. Go. Slow down, slow down. Just get the heart rate up. One more time, one more time. Very good. Well done. Here we go. Are we going to go sideways every three steps? Switch. Go. One, two, three. Switch. Very good. On the way back again. Go. One, two, three. Switch. Good job. All right. We're going to back paddle now. So when you guys should lower your bottom, right? So you don't want to be completely tall. And back paddle. And then stop right there, okay? Go. Back paddle. Well done. All right, we're going to do uh, to continue warm up. Okay, we're not getting the racket yet. We're going to do the box drill. So, what I'd like for you guys to do is we're going to move your feet a little bit more. So, this is more of a, on the athletic side. Very good. So, we're going to go one at a time. We're just going to do this once, okay? All right, so we're going to start on this position right here, look, on the ground, okay? When I say go, you're going to stand up, and you're going to go sideways, you're going to go back, and you're going to close the box in the end right here, and the next person goes in, okay? All right, who wants to lead? I want you to go first. Very good. When I say go, keep your balance. Go! Very good. And close the box. All right, click hit. Your turn. Ready? Go. I'm going to start on this side, Lydia, now. Close the box. Very good. All right, let's go on this side now. Just one more time. Ready? Go. That's a good start. Close the box. Well done. All right, click hit. Your turn. Ready? Go. All right, close the box. Good job. All right, so we're going to move on to racket handling. So now I want you guys to get your rackets. And I want you guys to play some mini tennis. So we're going to use the, the service box right there. Okay, one on each side. So Lydia, why don't you go to that side? Clara, right here, using the box. We're going to use half of the court. Now here's the deal, though. I want a continental grip. And if you guys don't know what a continental grip is, just grab the, the ball and bounce with the edge, and you know you got a continental grip. All right? All right, let's go. Tapping back and forth. Here we go. Very good. Good job. All right, so now that we just did the racket handling, we warmed up, your body's ready, we're going to go back and just freely hit a rally back and forth. All right, so we're going to go for about three, two to three minutes, just, uh, just a rally. All right, ready? Break.
All right, good job. Time. All right, let's freeze for a second there. Um, all right, so there are a few things I would like for you guys to, to incorporate on the rally, and we're going to work on that, okay? Uh, the first one is there is a lot of inconsistency because of the rhythm, the tempo you guys are hitting the ball. Right? So how do we slow down the, the speed of the rally a little bit? How do we slow down? There are a few ways. What do you think, Lydia? All right, come over to the net. So, okay, the racket speed is definitely one of them. How about anything else comes to mind? What happens when an opponent is in trouble? What does the opponent do to slow down the point? Lob it, right? Hit the ball higher, right? So I'd like for you guys to think about those things when you're having trouble. Like it feels like you guys are rallying and you hit the ball and the ball is coming back so fast, right? So how do you control the tempo? You are in control. So if you hit hard, a hard ball might come back. If you hit a little bit higher and with depth, the ball might come a little more comfortable next time. Does that make sense? So we're going to be working on that. All right, quick water break. <coughs> All right, let's come to the net for a second. So one thing that we didn't talk about, we did talk about height, how hard you swing, but there's another way to slow down the speed. What is that? How about, do I hit flat, and, and if I hit flat, and if I hit top spin, which one will travel faster? Which one? The, the flat shot. Okay, so the flat shot will travel faster. All right? So I'd like for you guys to think about that. So we're going to work on top spin swing. And I would like for you guys to do this. Each one, get a, get a ball. Actually get four balls, four of them, okay? So you're going to place four balls on the floor like this. And we're going to start with the forehand. Then we're going to move on to the backhand. Now watch this. Drop the mic. Watch this. I would like for you guys to do this. Look. You're going to turn sideways. You're going to place the ball under the net. And you're going to go. And you're going to lift up the racket as high as you possibly can. Okay? So you guys are going to do that four times. Place the racket first. Now low to high. Brush it. Very good. Make sure you go as high as you pop. Good job, Clara Kate. Very good. Here we go. Oh, that's a fail, Lydia. <laughs> that's a fail again. You're going forward. You got to go up, right? Like Rafa Nadal. Do you remember Rafa when he finishes up here? Look. On this side. Okay. Clara Kate, that's it. More in front. Okay. As far up as you can. And we're going to work on that low to high swing. How's it going? Yeah, absolutely. Hold on one second. All right, just throw it back here when you're done. All right. All right, here you go, girls. Back there. And here's what we're going to do. One at a time. You're going to hit the ball. So we're trying to build depth. We're trying to slow down the rally just so we can build consistency, okay? Now, as far as depth, you want the, your, your, your shots to have quality, and depth is one of them, okay? Because you're taking the ball away from the opponent's uh, striking zone. You're pushing the opponent back, all right? So let's go one at a time. Lydia, why don't you come in? And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to feed four balls, and I need you to try to lob. As I feed, like I'm going to put my cone up there so you can use the reference you gotta hit the ball up higher you're gonna hit me <laughs> you got it so no you're not hitting in the cone you're hitting away this is just a reference you gotta hit over the cone are you ready we're gonna go four times and I have three balls hold on and then Clark Kate comes in ready and go over very good is it higher than the cone two lift it up Excellent. Very good. Here we go. Three. Good job. Here we go. Four. Nice. You can tell I'm a little terrified. Oh my gosh. Okay, Clara. 
<laughs> okay, can I just hit that way? Here you go. But this is a reference, okay? You gotta hit the ball higher than the cone. Go. Very good. Here we go. Brush that ball low and high. Very good. Three. Get under, get under. Excellent. Very good. Low to high. Good job. All done. Okay, so how did it feel? Was it hard? All right, move over to the sideline over here for a second. Let me show you the, the shape of the swing. Like one of the things I would like for you guys to do is this. Try to imagine that you're going up the mountain, okay, when you're hitting the ball. You're not going to go straight, right? So you're going to go up the mountain. So you make that little C shape, small C shape. You're going to get, as you go forward, look, your racket is going to drop, and you're going to go up the mountain like that. All right? So let's go one more time. Here we go. Are we ready? Very good. All right. All right, here we go. We're going to go up the mountain. Go. Very good. Up the mountain. Excellent. Up the mountain. Good job. Here we go. Up the mountain. Go. Ooh, that was a harder one, was lower. Up the mountain. Well done. Good job. I guess it would be better if I throw with my right hand. Very good. Okay, ready? I'm going to go up the mountain. Forehand, ready? And low. Oh, so good, Kaikade. Here we go. Low and high. That was a little low, so I needed to go further up the mountain. That's it. Go low to high, up the mountain. Very Can you do one more? See, that one didn't go as high as it. So it has to go low at the bottom of the mountain and then up high. Ready? And go. Low. That's it. Well done. Good job. All right, girls, come over here to the net for a second. All right, so we need to implement what we just practiced. All right, so you're trying to slow down the rally rather than spinning up, but we don't want to leave the ball short. Okay, so I would like for you guys to think about what we just worked on. And we're going to try to hit the ball with depth. Technically, one of the few things that you saw that you can do to keep the ball a little higher from the net that you learned. Okay, so a little more kind of lift, more low to high. Very good. And, and, and what about the... the, the, the the type of spin of the rat on, on the ball. Is it flat? Is it slice? Is it a top spin? Very good. So we work on the top spin and it's that low to high motion, okay? All right, very good. So why don't we have Lydia come over to this side, Claire on that side, get a few balls. And, and the goal is to rally, try to get you 10 balls, okay? Back and forth. However, if you miss at the net, you go negative one. Okay? You got it, Clara? So you're not supposed to miss the net. But, so we've got to get you 10. It doesn't have to be necessarily in a row, okay? Timer for four minutes. Oh, negative one. Here we go. Good. That's two. That doesn't count because it didn't go past the service line. I forgot to tell you, it has to go past the service line, okay? So you don't lose points if you go short, only if you miss at the net. All right, so we're at two. Here we go. Three. Good try. Here we go. Four. Good. Five. Good try. Here we go. Six. Good. Seven. That was out. I'm not going to count. Good. Here we go. Eight. Nine. Good. Low too high. Good. Here we go. Good try. Good try. Get a ball. Here we go. We're at nine. We need one more. The feed is not going to count. Let's see. Job. Still nine. Here we go. Get up the mountain. Good. Ten. All right. Freeze. All right. Bring it in. So 
It was totally my fault. I forgot to tell you guys it doesn't count if it goes short because the purpose is to keep with depth and control the speed. How do we do? Do you think we succeed at slowing things down? Was there a better rally? Did you have more time? Because we're talking about time and depth. Okay, so we're going to continue doing this one more time. However, same rule, okay? But you only have three chances to get to 10. Three balls, three bullets. Ready? All right, break. Here we go. Three chances. If you do not make it, you're going to have to run to the net and back twice as a punishment. Huh? All right, here we go. <clears throat> the, the feed doesn't count. One. Two, three, four, oh, three, four, good job, no. five, six, seven, seven, eight, good job, eight, good, nine, Nine. Uh, good job, freeze, freeze. Did we do in one ball? You only needed one ball? That was awesome. All right, very good. So we're going to mini break. All right. Um, we're going we're gonna to move on now to try to play some points. So the first thing we're going to do, I, was, I would like for you guys to warm up your serves. All right, so Clark A, we're just going to take turns and serve a few. And media will serve back. Okay, so let's do two, three serves on each side, each person, and then we'll move on. All right, go ahead. Let's warm up some serves. Just warming up serves. Yeah. Very good. Let's see if we find some success on the serve, okay? So. Make sure you hit a feel. Good job. Excellent. Good. Good job. Swing, good job. All right, time. Let's bring it to the net. All right, so we're going to play a tiebreaker, okay? Um, now, actually, let's not do a tiebreaker. I think that's too long. Let's do this. Um, just fast four, four points, okay? So first to four, um, and um, there is a catch. You guys have two shorts. If you hit a third short ball, you lose the point. Does that make sense? The only exception to the rule, of course, is the serve. All right, so you want to try to, as soon as you serve, what? Yeah, yeah, that's a very good question. So what happens if you get a short ball? Once you go to the net, forget about the rule of hitting past the service line. Anything goes. Does that make sense? But the goal is to try to focus on understanding how to keep the opponent back, not to bring the opponent to the net, which it will happen. Yes. Oh, you don't have any questions? You good? All right, spin the racket. Let's see who's going to start. Okay. <coughs> All right, first four points. Here we go. All right, Lydia will be serving for this one, and then you serve for the next one, okay? Good job. One short. Good job, but you got it. Well done. Very good. Okay. Okay, zero serving one. Second serve. Yep. Here we 
Đấy. 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 One short. She came into the net. Good job, good job. Where are we tied? Oh, this is gonna take too long. Let's change the, the, the score into two out of three, okay? So Lydia is about to win the third point. Sorry, Claire. I just wanted to serve you. All right, go ahead. Here we go. That's a good return. One short, one short. Good try. Two serving one. Here we go. Yes, two out of three. So you gotta make. Well, sorry, three out of five. Oh my gosh, I'm ex I'm missing it up. Three out of five. So the first to get you three wins. Three out of five, not two out of three. Three out of five. Totally messed it up. Two one. Nice serve. One short, one short. Good. Good. That's good. Good. Two shorts. Good. Good. Good job. Three shorts time. <laughs> Very good. Great point. All right, switch sides. All right, Claire, you're serving on this side. What? You were 2 1 up. No, I was down. 3 1. Oh, you were down? Oh my gosh, I messed it up. So, 2 all. Here we go. Winner takes all on this point right here. One short. All right, Claire, I had a feeling that serve was out, but it was just me. <laughs> All right, switch sides. Here we go. Two out of three points again. So, All right, you good. All right, Claire, your turn. Good serve. Good. 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 One short. Very good. Good job, Claire. One short. Two shorts here. Two shorts. Nobody can hit shorts anymore. Good. Three shorts. Time. All right, Claire. Zero serving one. Good point, though. Here we go. You got it. Need it. Good try. Zero two. We are at money ball here. Here we go. Good return, Lydia. That is too good shot. All right, racket touch. That was good. All right, here's what I'd like for you guys to do. Uh, I would like for you guys to get a ball and have a fun finish. You guys are going to play first to four points mini tennis with the continental grip starting from close. You guys played this before? All right, let's do it. Here we go. One box, one box. So first to four, you gotta keep the scores though, okay? You're not allowed to hit hard. 
Good job. Go, Claire. Got to keep it in the box. 1-0, Lydia. Whoever wins the point serves. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Two zero. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that's a good one. Here we go. Good touch. Oh, Claire's making a comeback. Here you go. Two one. All right. So let's go ahead and and and, and review a little bit what we did. Um, so we started off with just rally, and what did we? What what did I work on? You guys remember? What did I notice that we wanted to accomplish during the, the practice? I mean, I kind of had it pre-planned, but I wanted to watch you guys rally to see how, where you guys stand. Okay, depth. But what else? It was not just depth. As I was watching you guys, what was happening to the rally? This is in inconsistent. Can you elaborate on that? How was it inconsistent? Okay, so they were hitting short. How about the speed where the, you guys were rallying? Was it part of it too? The inconsistency of it? Very good. All right. And, and, and what do we do to, to, to fix that? What do we focus on when we're working on, on the, the correction of your technique? Very good. Hitting the ball higher from the net. Right? What, what else did we do to slow things down? What kind of spin? We're try, what, what we were trying to avoid? Hitting flat. Very good. So we tried to work on, on the spin on the ball. Well, great job. So moving forward for the next lesson, I would work, I would choose to work on the short balls because if you guys get good at hitting with depth, you will receive some short balls. Does that make sense? And what do you do with it? Do I hit and go back? Do I hit and follow the ball to the net? Right, so, so the goal is to, to on the next uh, lesson, explore that, figure out what do you do when you get that short ball.